Ethernet embedded designs using the PIC 18F97J60 microchip. Welcome to this training module on microchips Ethernet embedded designs using the PIC 18F97J60. This training module introduces the PIC 18F97J60 family features and target applications and discusses how to add Ethernet to embedded designs. Ethernet solutions are gaining popularity in the embedded connectivity space. There are several key reasons that drive such adoption. Ethernet is ubiquitous, and it is the most widely deployed network in many offices and industrial buildings. It is based on IEEE 802.3 that ensures reliability of network connections and data transmission. Moreover, the networks are scalable from the simplest to the most complex networks. Finally, once equipment is connected to the network, it can be monitored or controlled through the Internet. In considering Ethernet, it is important to discuss data packet traffic speed. The first speed that gained momentum in the PC industry was 10 base T, or 10 megabits per second. Other speeds that are more common today are 100 base T and gigabit Ethernet. However, 10 base T is more than sufficient for most embedded applications. Typical requirements for communicating remote monitoring and control require only small bursts of data sent infrequently. In the embedded space, the true need for 100 base T is less prevalent, but when 100 megabit per second speed is needed, it is usually required throughout the network. 100 base T helps to reduce the latency of data packet transmission and becomes closer to real-time delivery. Voice over IP intercoms and automotive navigation systems are some that benefit from 100 base T. Traditionally, 8-bit microcontrollers were challenged by the interface and program memory requirements of Ethernet. Many were simply not feasible. Adding Ethernet was expensive. Integrated, single-chip alternatives were not available. Ethernet controller chips were designed originally for the PC industry and used a foreign interface which increased design complexity and consumed more board space. Due to the high number of I.O. required to interface to an Ethernet controller, the number of available I.O. for other functions was limited. Considering program memory, until recently, 8-bit microcontrollers were limited to 14 or 16 kilobytes of program memory. TCP IP stack footprints were simply too large for the available code space on an 8-bit CPU. A typical Ethernet system is shown in the figure. The four-wire SPI interface-equipped Ethernet controller transmits and receives data from the Ethernet cable and manages the Ethernet protocol. Connection to the Ethernet is through a RJ45 connector and requires the standard twisted pairs for transmit and receive. A microcontroller with a large I.O. set was required to accommodate Ethernet and other functions like analog, pulse width modulation, general purpose I.O. and such, which increases design complexity and occupied board space. New to the 8-bit world are integrated single-chip solutions that feature an Ethernet MAC and PHY on chip. This eliminates the need for a separate interface controller which, as previously mentioned, can be complex and costly. So, with this solution, only the interface for the transmit and receive twisted pairs have to be considered. Compared with the SPI interface controller implementation, the space savings using an on-chip integrated solution is 68% better and the approximate cost is reduced 51%. Microchip has introduced its PIC 18 J series general purpose microcontrollers providing a low cost point performance ratio while providing more on chip I.O. This part family targets Ethernet, liquid crystal displays, and USB markets. These devices are supported by design centers, application notes, free software, and drivers. 
This module focuses on the PIC 18F 97J60 embedded Ethernet controller for remote monitoring and control applications. The PIC 18F 97J60 family is compliant with industry standard 10 base T Ethernet. The family comes with an integrated on chip MAC and PHY for Ethernet. The PIC 18F 97J60 is a superset device with 100 pins, 128 kilobytes of flash, 3 kilobytes of data SRAM, and 8 kilobytes of dedicated buffer RAM. The PIC 18F 97J60 is the superset device in the Ethernet microcontroller family with 64, 80, or 100 pins. With 10 MIPS performance at 3 volts, this family offers a 10 base T Ethernet MAC and PHY on chip with 8 kilobytes of buffer RAM dedicated for Ethernet communications, providing a full state machine so as to prevent overloading the core when sending or receiving packet data. With a feature set optimized for embedded control, the family comes up to 128 kilobytes of flash with self-write capability, 5 channels of PWM, five timers, two UARTs, two SPI or I2C interfaces, and a 16-channel, 10-bit analog-to-digital converter. Target applications for the PIC 18F97J60 family are shown on this page, ranging from industrial to home control to commercial. Within each of these microcontroller application areas, there are applications that can take advantage of remote monitoring and control. The PIC 18F97J60 family can easily accomplish remote communications over Ethernet as well as carry out the typical functions associated with embedded control. All members of the PIC 18F97J60 family of devices feature an embedded Ethernet controller module. This is a complete connectivity solution, including full implementations of both Media Access Controller, MAC, and Physical Layer Transceivers, PHY modules. Two pulse transformers and a few passive components are all that are required to connect the microcontroller directly to an Ethernet network. The Ethernet module meets all of the IEEE 802.3 specifications for 10 base T connectivity to a twisted pair network. The PHY module also provides separate outputs to drive the standard Ethernet connectors LED A and LED B to indicate link and network activity. An independent 8 kilobyte RAM buffer is used to store packets that have been received and packets that are to be transmitted. An arbiter controls access to the RAM buffer when requests are made from the microcontroller core, DMA, transmit and receive blocks. The register interface functions as an interpreter of commands and internal status signals between the module and the microcontroller's special function registers. PIC 18F97J60 family devices all provide a dedicated 4-pin signal interface for Ethernet module. The PHY transceiver module that encodes and decodes the analog data that is present on these twisted pair interfaces and sends or receives it over the network. In addition to the signal connections, the Ethernet module has its own independent voltage source and ground connections for the PHY module. Separate connections are provided for the receiver, the transmitter, and the transmitter's internal phase lock loop. For the Ethernet module to operate properly, supply, voltage, and ground must be connected to these pins. Besides the independent voltage connections, the PHY module has a separate bias current input pin, R-BIAS. A bias current derived from an external resistor must be applied to R-BIAS for proper transceiver operation. The Ethernet module can generate multiple interrupt conditions. To accommodate all of these sources, the module has its own interrupt logic structure similar to that of the microcontroller. Separate sets of registers are used to enable and flag different interrupt conditions. The EIE register 
contains the individual interruptible bits for each source, while the EIR register contains the corresponding interrupt flag bits. When an interrupt occurs, the interrupt flag is set. In this example, a video camera is connected via Ethernet to the Internet. Real-time video can be streamed to any location with an IP address. It is also possible to control the camera remotely to pan and zoom on new subjects. Applications include home surveillance while at work or surveillance of a second home, boat, or other remote location. In this example, a vending machine is connected via Ethernet to the Internet. Real-time information, such as the amount of money, inventory status, or operating condition of the machine video can be streamed to any location with an IP address. The added cost is more than compensated by the improved efficiency made possible by reporting made possible through the IP connection. Price changes could also be done remotely. In this example, streaming audio is received via Ethernet from the Internet. Radio channels become IP addresses. Content can be controlled via the use of Ethernet. Microchip offers several development tools for developing your Ethernet solution. The Internet Radio de Demo Board uses the PIC-18F67J60-8-bit microcontroller with integrated 10Base-T Ethernet to connect to Shoutcast servers and stream MP3 data to an audio decoder. The pic -Dim net 2 Development Board is an Internet Ethernet development board supporting both uh, ENC 28J60 Ethernet controller and the PIC 18F97J60 8-bit microcontroller with integrated 10Base T. The Ethernet Picktail Plus Daughter Board is populated with a 28-pin ENC 28J60 Ethernet controller and a Picktail Plus connector, which is interfaced to the microchip 16 or 32-bit Explorer 16 development board which is for evaluation of microchips new 16 and 32-bit microcontroller families, which include the PIC24, the DSPIC33 digital signal controller, and the 32-bit PIC32M families. The Ethernet PICTAIL daughter board is populated with a 28-pin ENC 28J60 Ethernet controller and a 28-pin PICTAIL connector, which is interfaced to the microchip 8-bit PIC18 Explorer Development Board, which is for evaluation of microchips 8-bit microcontroller families, which include the standard PIC18, PIC18J series, and PIC18K series.